Hello boys, and there's still no girls here. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back. Um, today we're ranking reptiles on a tier list. This is actually Justin's idea, who edits a handful of the videos, so you can check his channel out in the description, and blame him if this video sucks, because it was not my idea. We've got a tier list, we've got a bunch of lizards. These tier lists are kind of outdated, nobody does them anymore, but I don't care. My big biggest concern is whether I can identify all the lizards on the list, but I'll do my best, starting with Veiled Chameleons. These are very tiny pictures, and it looks like they're all just stolen. Like, that's Undergone Reptiles' watermark, so yeah, not my property. Let's begin. Uh, with Veiled Chameleons, everyone thinks I, like, hate chameleons or I'm, like, scared of them or something because they're never on the channel, which is true. I've never, ever talked about chameleons on the channel, simply because nobody's ever sent one to us, and I never was interested enough to buy one. It's not that I dislike them. I just... I, I think they're cool, and I think they're very unique, but they're not high enough to actually get enough, get, get much from me. I think this is a leaf-tailed gecko. I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Assuming it is, um, it's arboreal, which automatically puts it below anything else. And veiled chameleons are also arboreal lizards, but they're not geckos, so I don't hate them as much. Um, but leaf tails look pretty cool. I'd never consider one, though, so it's going to E. This one, I honestly have no idea what that is. I've, I've never seen one of those, ever. But it looks terrestrial and a gecko. But since I've never heard of it, it goes into D. I don't, I'm just basing these almost randomly. Uh, next up, we've got a, I think that's a Chinese cave gecko. Uh, we've actually had, I think, one of these come in. It was really cool. I thought I would be tempted to keep you on myself, and I almost purchased one one time from Repticon. The thing is, you just don't really ever see them because they're nocturnal and they like to hide a lot, which is like a lot of animals, but they're just very tiny. And they look cool, but not cool enough. So they're also going to see with veiled chameleons. Uh, next up, bearded dragons. I've had an interesting background with beardies. It started as me not caring about them at all, thinking they were kind of dumb pets. And then eventually I had a cool experience with a beardie, which you can see a video of that, I forgot what I called it. It's like, I was wrong about beardies or something. And then I had this like big peak of really liking them actually. And then I got too many beardies basically. Personally, I don't have many at all, but uh, people rehome animals to us and bearded dragons are the number one animal. They're so messy, they're so chaotic, they eat so much. They all look very similar. Most of them act very similar. Stan, I still love Stan. He's very, he stands out a lot to me, but he feels like an outlier. And I'll be honest, I don't like bearded dragons that much right now. They're just not, I'm just not having a good, I'm not on good terms with them, so they're going to D. Blue tongue skinks, however, I actually like more than beardies, but not as much as other lizards necessarily. Olive is my personal, I really like her. She's really cool. Um, I've gotten along well with her, and I think blue tongues make great animal, great, great pets. So they're going to B, they're the highest on the list so far. What's your, what's your guess? What do you think is going to be on the top? In the bottom. You can leave a comment as you're watching. Because more comments means more traffic on the video, which means the video gets pushed to more people. Next up, I think this is a Chinese water dragon. I was gonna say plumed basilisk, but I think it's a water dragon. These images are so tiny. Is it a basilisk? I think it's a water dragon. Assuming so, I think they're like the lesser of basilisks. I had a really cool plume basilisk experience. We got this really sick, really sad one in um, that was rehomed to us like two years ago maybe, and it took forever to rehabilitate it, but we did it. It was really exciting. It got so much better. It took so much time, and I actually really like them. Um, and I, I guess I should say I like working with them. I just don't want one as a pet. However, Chinese water dragons, I don't care for. Um, I think we sold one of those before, and it's going to E. Nothing is very high yet. Oh God, it's crested geckos. Great, we're never gonna get anything high on this list. <laughs> There's two on here that look like they're both abronias, which are these two. I love abronias. And I'm gonna assume they're both abronias, just different pictures for some reason. Abronias, they're super tiny and they are ridiculously intelligent. Uh, if you watch my video ranking reptile smartest to dumbest, I put abronias at the top. They're super cool. And honestly, if I were to keep another lizard, it would probably be an abronia. I'm gonna put them up here. And I assume this is that they're both abronias. So I'm putting them both at S tier. Oh yeah, for super epic. Um, sorry about that. 
Banded Gecko, I think. I don't know anything about him. So they're going to E. That's just my default at this point. Legless Lizard, I believe. I don't know what type of Legless Lizard. Um, a lot of people mistake him for snakes. I've actually seen one in person, in the wild that is. There is a species native to North Carolina on the coast, but it was sadly killed. I think it was it was just roadkill. It was accidentally ran over, I assume. Maybe it was on purpose. That's not related at all, but that's my only experience with them. But what do I think of them? Where do they rank on the list? What is this list based on? Is it, which one, is it the, what's it called? Common Captive Reptile Tier List. I don't know if it's what I want as pets or what's the coolest or, I don't know. But I think they're pretty interesting. However, captive wise, because this is the captive thing, I would not keep them, so I'm putting them at C. Leechianus gecko. You can check out one of my recent videos on why Leechianus geckos suck. Madagascan day geckos. They're beautiful. They look very cool. Very bad for handling. They're purely just display pets. Their skin is so delicate, like when we've had to work with them, like sick ones that need shed taken off or whatever, their skin rips instantly. They're so soft and it like, they're not very comfortable with handling and it just, it's not a fun time, but they are beautiful display pets. So I'm putting them at B because although I would not get one, I think they're great for a lot of people. Actually, there was one super personable one. It was super sweet and you could handle it no problem. So yeah, I think it deserves a B because there are, what is this? Anyway, about the geckos, because there are those that are actually good with handling, and um, there's a lot of variation between them, so I think they're cool. Anyway, I don't know what this Cretan is, but it's weird looking, and I'm giving it an E. <laughs> is it a... What's that thing? A caiman? It gets an E. Toke geckos. A lot of people are surprised I like them, because they're arboreal geckos, but they're, they're chaotic, they're angry, and they look pretty cool um and i actually get kind of excited when we get to work with them so um not for everyone not great for handling they're carnivorous which is cool i i think they're cool and i'm giving them a b nothing's gotten an a yet uh frog-eyed gecko i believe I, this is the one that everybody knows probably not by name but they all see them they're probably arguably the cutest gecko on earth because their eyes are just uncomfortably massive. It looks like they're about to pop out of their head. And I, I like them, but I do think they're a little overrated because everybody's just like, oh my God, they're so cute. I bet as pets, they're actually not that interesting. So I'm giving them a C, but I could be wrong. Um, leopard geckos. I like leopard geckos, but they're not an amazing. I'm giving them an A, very simple. Green anoles, they're also na native to where I live. As a kid, I would catch them. I wish I wasn't allowed to. I cared for them very poorly and I would just randomly catch and release them. And I, it's kind of depressing how little baby me would just torment these poor lizards. Uh, green anoles themselves, I think they're pretty interesting. They're often um, brown anoles, which are very similar to them, are often feeder lizards. Um, so they're just fed to other animals, other snakes and stuff, and they're all super cheap and Shiro is freaking out. You see, my cat has separation anxiety, and when I close the door, he doesn't have a good time. The question is, where do we actually put green anoles on the list? You see, I was gonna give them a C, but I'm putting them B to kind of make up for the torment I gave them as a child. I don't think that fixes that. Uh, Frilled Dragon. Meh. I don't have anything to say about them. They just deserve a D. It just feels right. Um, that sounded a bit odd. African fat tail geckos. I really like them. I don't like them quite as much as leopard geckos. They're basically the same. I also did a video comparing those. So they get a B. I don't know what this is. It looks like a very orange. I don't know what that is. It's orange. I like orange animals. So let's give it a C. Why not? Uh, green iguana. They're interesting. Uh, we have one right now. We try not to have more than one at a time. I've never worked with an adult one. They kind of intimidate me a lot. I've had various interesting experiences with them, good and bad, and in between, and just plain out weird. So because they gave me some interesting times, I'm giving them a B, but there, I would say, are very few people that I would suggest getting them as pets. And even myself, I don't think I should have a full-grown adult as a pet, and we do not take in full-grown adults, so. This is a different type of chameleon, but I don't know what type. Uh, I think this is a 
gargoyle gecko of some certain morph. I like gargoyles more than lychees and cresties, but not by much. They get an E. Okay, go away. He's not going away. Uh, I think this is a Jackson's Chameleon because it's got those nice little horns in the front and I like Veils more. I just think they're prettier and the horns weird me out a little bit. This is a, I feel like it's a rhin rhino iguana. It looks like it would just tell me to bend over and I'm intimidated and for that reason that I'm giving it a B because anything lower and I'd probably get beat up and more. Is this just another Leechianus gecko but a different morph? I don't care what morph it is. is there's, why are there so many lychees here? Are these all lychees? Whoever made this quiz just wanted to torment me with lychianus geckos. Why? Next up, uh, I've never seen these colors before, but it looks like a Euromastix. I blinked on the name. And I think Euromastix are very cute. They have adorable chubby faces. And maybe I should do more videos on Euromastix. I'm, I'm giving them a B, honestly. I like them. Um, they're cute. They stay pretty small. They are generally pretty friendly, but we've had some skittish ones, and it seems like most people really like them. This is another day gecko, but this one doesn't have as much blue, so it's going to see. Oh wait, is this a cave gecko? Are these both cave geckos? I don't know what this is. This looks like that one. It's the same thing. I don't know why there's so many identical. Like there's another iguana for some reason. I guess he goes to be, and another gargoyle. Who made this quiz? Or not quiz, but what is this? A tier list. I guess I'll just go on whichever one looks cooler. I think this one actually looks cooler than that one, but they both get an E. Another green and all for some reason. He's going there, why not? Um, another blue, blue tongue skink. And then just a bunch of Legionis geckos. What do you expect? Do you think I'm gonna give one a better rating? No, I'm always fair and I'm always honest and I'm always right. And they're all Fs. <laughs> you know what, these are going to F, I don't care. <laughs> I can't tell what this is, I can't even see the head of it. So it's getting an E because it's not an arboreal gecko, along with this one. And finally, I think this is a morning gecko. Um, morning geckos, they're, they're pretty cool. They are all female, if I am correct, and they are all asexual. Uh, not meaning that they don't have a libido, but meaning that they reproduce by themselves like they just shoot out identical babies so they're usually used as feeders they're super tiny like some of the small probably one of the the smallest geckos they're an arboreal gecko i think but i like them i haven't personally cared for them but i do like them i like an arboreal gecko what do you know they're cute they shoot out children like crazy for absolutely no reason that all look identical to the parents. We're giving it a C. That's the highest I've ever given an arboreal gecko. How, how about that? Okay, we're done. Actually, that didn't take very long. In S, we've got the abronia. Wait, I only put two species above a B. <laughs> I don't regret it. It's honest. I guess you get a good idea, though. I really like abronias, even though I don't have one and I've only ever seen one in person. And then we've got leopard geckos, very simple. Uh, here we've just got a lot of the standard stuff. We've got the blue dunk skinks, the day gecko. Oh, I put another arboreal gecko, pretty high. The day gecko, the toke gecko, the bearded dragon, the blue the blue tongue skink. Um, Anulls, African fat tail iguanas, Euromastics, and more iguanas. And then everything below B just doesn't matter so if you want to make your own or tier thing you can just google it because that's what i did uh, if you want to make one of a different group of animals for me maybe i will take it but maybe not we'll see how what you think of this video so make sure you let me know if i should do another one or not and uh do you agree with my answers how's my taste in lizards let me know you can check out the description for a bunch of cool stuff that I'm offering. You got some merch, and you can join Patreon for some cool perks, and uh, yeah, just various stuff. So, that'll be it for this tier list. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.